Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another 270 video. In today's video, I'll be taking on Trump 2020 and trying out for the very first time, Vladimir Putin. Putin is an interesting character. He does have a 35% gun lobby bonus, and so I'll be starting off in turn number one, two pips into gun lobby. And other than that, a lot of his bonuses are tied to oil manufacturing and those really those two oil giants of California and Texas. He does have quite a few substantial penalties. And so I might let my opponent dictate exactly how I play this game. So turn number one, he is leading uh, 20 on the zero. He did take Florida. And so that could signal swing states. That could signal African-American kind of the old South um, plus Florida combination. But what I'm going to do is just get the gun lobby bonus on turn number two, save some cash, and then if I need to go two pips in a Texas or California, I can definitely do that. She's going in Pennsylvania. He did not go in North Carolina. So... That might have been a misstep for him. Maybe he was um, seeing what I was going to do. And so on turn number three, what I could do is go Texas and um, Illinois and North Carolina, try to get manufacturing, also block swing states. Um, he did not go big conservative which he also has a national group bonus. And right now he does have the evangelical. So I'm just going to do a $200,000 move into Texas. That opens up the door for me to possibly double tap California, um, go after the oil bonus specifically, manufacturing, Sorry, my phone flipped over there. Okay, so there's North Carolina. So he will be getting the swing state bonus, which is definitely a turn before I will get into bonuses. So that's probably um, not good for me. But I'm going to go in some oil states and manufacturing. So I have no contest. Um, no contest in the manufacturing, but I am contested in Louisiana, which is not good. I should have gone in um, West Virginia just in case, but that was kind of an oversight. I'm going to pressure in North Carolina and in Pennsylvania, and I will get the manufacturing bonus at the end of this turn. I'm going to save a little bit of cash. I know I um, probably should have gone in more oil states, but... My opponent did play lots of defense in Louisiana, and we'll see how they enter, how they um, react to North Carolina and Pennsylvania. So there's the old South bonus for him. He might actually use that in North Carolina. And whoops, ugh, stupid golf app. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to go into California and Nevada. Just in case I get pressure in Illinois, I probably will leave Illinois alone and just get the Latino bonus when I get Texas and California. I'm going to use my manufacturing to pivot to Michigan, which can help me get high tech later. And wow, wow, wow. Big money spent in Pennsylvania and North Carolina. So this guy is, is definitely defensive minded. Um, I should have... No problem getting a few bonuses at this point. So I'm going to pressure in Maryland and Virginia just so I can maybe get the high-tech bonus, open up in Connecticut. So this will be my third pip into California um, with Texas. That will give me agriculture. That will give me oil. That will give me um, the Latino bonus. And we'll see if my opponent defends Virginia 
and Maryland <laughs> after I go into them. I actually can see um, him maybe closing off Colorado or Nevada. Here we go. North Carolina sealed. So they're in also export, which I should have known, but I just um, I forgot that I was already in um, Illinois. So that Michigan play definitely helped me there. I'm going to pressure in Florida. And honestly, I might just save the rest because I can pretty much sustain California and Texas with my bonuses. And if I can force him to overspend again, um, at this point he should be pivoting like to New York, maybe pressure me in Texas because of manufacturing. But again, he's going to defend in Virginia. So we do lead 160 to 118. And that is the end of turn number eight. We now have $1.23 million. And... I could go to the seventh pip in in Florida. Instead, I'm just going to open up into New York. We are facing facing double tap pressure in Texas. Um, he has a swing state in Old South, which he cannot spend. Um, let's calculate how much. I think he can go to that pip. I'll go one more, just in case he actually does finish it off. We're that much closer to. Securing Texas, it's not wasted money. And then I'm going to open up in Utah and in Massachusetts to pursue the town and gown bonus. But as soon as we get New York, we'll also have the high tech. And so with all of this extra cash, um, it doesn't matter where he pressures us. So that, there's the Texas pressure. That's the end of turn number 10, 206. We could double tap um, all of the states, come close to forcing a ballot. Pennsylvania 20, Virginia 33. Okay, never mind. It's not going to matter. There is a zero turn move, and that is the game. So we are officially 1-0 as Vladimir Putin. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch you guys next time.